In this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Krups Ultimate Super Silent 3-in-1 Blade Grinder, blah, 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 blah. It's basically the silent Vortex Grinder on Amazon. It's supposedly a bestseller, has maybe 43,000 uh, positive reviews, four and a half stars. This video is simply born out of me being unable to find a good review that just shows a little bit what this thing looks like and primarily how quiet it is compared to other uh, coffee grinders. It says on here it can be used for spices and whatever, but but I think most people are getting this for as a coffee grinder. So first I'll just go around and show you a little bit what it looks like so you guys can hopefully have a better look at just the build. Like if you watch those videos online that are made by this company, they are not going to show you all these little details. So it has a thing to wrap around the cord, which is pretty common for ones of this size. It's fairly dense, pretty dense and heavy, actually. Much heavier than my other one. Um, this thing is about $50. I'll take the top off. Well, let's look at this button. So see this button? Hopefully this just gives you guys an idea. Stainless steel on the outside. I don't know if some people care about that. You got two settings, low and high. This is basically just says this is low for the quietest grinding and this is for slightly faster. I think people who actually want this for silence are gonna be doing it on the low because you're looking at like 15 seconds of grinding versus like 10 to 12 seconds of grinding. Like it's not a lot of grinding. So I'll be doing it on both settings to give you guys an idea. So when we take the top off, one thing that already felt a little bit like cheap, how this button is like loose. But I mean, normally just taking this off, I guess it's fine. And then when it goes on here to latch, you gotta twist it a little bit. And then once it's in, it's secure for clicking once it's plugged in. So we'll set that to down to the side. The, as you can see in the pictures on Amazon, the cup thing comes out. This was a little bit weird to me that the blade stayed in there. I mean, it's fine because if you are going to use it for spices or coffee, you know, you are going to have spices in there filled so the blade is not going to, you're not going to be sticking your finger in there, getting cut. You would be careful, obviously, but it's not plugged into anything. So that was a little weird. I have the top in, in the cupboard in the back, but it just kind of goes on a little thin black top. But this was a little bit strange that the blade is just in there. And this is another thing where it seems like seems weird that it's just like loose in there and then the back part of it here. These are all not really deal breakers for me, but this is just hopefully helping you guys with a purchase because you're looking at $50 for this type of thing compared to maybe what, $10 for another one, maybe even less, $8. So that's five times the price. You really wanna, maybe you wanna up your coffee game or you really want your grinding to be quiet or, or you're gonna use this for a lot of other things like spices. Maybe, I don't know, or you really want the stainless steel look or or maybe 50 bucks is not a lot for you. Um, so we're, we're gonna obviously just test the, the sound now. The biggest thing people care about, I think for this one is going to be the sound. So let's, I have some coffee here. We're gonna plug this in, so now I gotta be careful. All right, one more thing I wanted to show you. There is a little measurement number in here. See how it says 14? Can you see that 14? And then there's a three down there. That's something to note too. Okay, so we'll put, put this in. Oh, you wanna see what this looks like inside here? Can you can you guys see that? It just twists in there and lock. There's nothing really in here. A little tab button. Okay, all right, so we're gonna grind some coffee here and check the sound. So right here I have just a local coffee beans. I'm gonna just fill it to the top like about what you would do. Okay, you can see the beans in there. Okay, maybe you would fill it to a certain line, but I'm not gonna be too specific. We're gonna plug this guy in. Okay, put the top on. Now before I grind, I mean, I have this other one, which is, it's not the Krups one, but it's a very similar one to the, the cheaper Krups one. This one's probably 10. I've had this for about five years. It's worked fine. It's worked great, but I actually did want a quieter one uh, My wife works the night shift and so there's lots of different times where you might want to be grinding beans at a weird hour So I'm gonna take this same little grinder $8 I think 
We're gonna put the same beans in here. Fill it up about to the top, okay? And then we're gonna grind these side by side. Hopefully that you can hear the sound difference on the video. Now I'll do two, I'll do two grinds. I'll do the high and low, and then I will do, this one only has one touch grind. But, so when, when I'm grinding, you'll notice that vibrations, whatever surface you grind these on, there's gonna be vibrations that go through the table or the counter, whatever you have it on. So that always increases the noise. So I found that with this one, I, to make it quieter in the mornings, I actually pick it up and then I grind, and I almost like shake a little bit to get the grind quieter so that it's not vibrating on there. So you may not have to do that with this one, we'll see. But when you, I might automatically lift this one up too to get it even quieter. Um, so let's see the comparison. So hopefully this video, I'll stop talking. Hopefully you can hear some type of just difference. So we'll do the, they'll do this one first. Now this one. It's on the low setting down here, quietest setting. Now this one, if I lift it off the surface, listen. Slightly quieter. Let's see this one. Oh, even quieter. All right, so obviously I ground these. It says on here that you can grind this one 10 seconds, 15 seconds, or 20 seconds, depending on if you're doing pour over coffee versus uh, just brewing through a pot or different types of like that type of thing. So here we can see it's, it's obviously gonna be ground pretty well. I did it a little excessive. So, this coffee maker also is really nice when you're emptying out your coffee into wherever you're gonna um, brew it. You can take this thing off, you know? That's that's really a big help. Also for washing maybe, you just wanna rinse, rinse this thing out. That's great. This one, you have to lift up this whole thing. You can see the coffee is, um, it's on all of the edges. It's over here on the front edge. You know, that maybe you're everyone's used to that and that's fine, but when I, lift this up and when I put it in a bowl for this one, you're lifting up the whole machine, right? You're emptying out and then you're like tapping like this whole machine. I mean, obviously you're shaking this whole machine. It's not gonna, oh shoot, I just spilled coffee all over. That's fine. It's not gonna last quite as long as you're banging it all around every single day or sometimes twice a day in our scenario. So um, for this to be able to pour this out, you know, it's just much cleaner and easier really small thing you're not buying this copy maker for that reason but it's it's notable okay so we got these cleared out we're gonna do it one more time uh, with a different a completely different bean and we're just going to do i'm gonna do the high setting that one so let me get the other bean real quick we'll do it on the high setting down here okay we'll switch that on high setting them out Just a little bit here and there and we're going to compare the high setting sound okay and then i'll do high and low on this one so you can just compare the difference of just this machine so here again we'll do this one first both at the same time let's see i mean to me on the high setting it's really similar the the sound of this if you can tell it sounds more like contained maybe like the sound is more within the whole machine whereas this a lot of the racketing of the beans at the beginning you notice is like ratcheting off the top of this plastic whereas this doesn't seems like you're hearing more the whir of the motor 
But then here, let's just do high and low. So that's all I want to say. I hope this helps you guys. I for $50, five, five to six times the cost of one of these cheap ones, it's gonna have to be for the right person. Like in my situation, like I said before, I, I have a spouse that is, is working night shift and then I have really little kids under the age of five that if I'm making coffee before they're awake, I don't want them waking up. So I do care about the sound. It's the high best feature to me. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep this thing. To me, the price is much too high for the very slight difference of sound improvement it seems like a better quality machine obviously you know it has stainless steel the motor seems stronger the fact that you have two settings is nice um the fact that this thing is removable and it's, it's much deeper too uh deeper size so if you want to use this for spices and use it for other things then that might be helpful for you but i, I don't plan to use it for spices just for coffee so yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, my diagnosis is unsure for now, but I hope this video helps you guys just get a better idea of what the sound is. And I hope that since there was no reviews of this, this product, uh, I couldn't find good reviews. Hopefully this is a decent enough review. Uh, on this channel, I do a lot of other reviews like uh, product reviews for workwear and different clothes and boots and uh, check out any of those if they interest you otherwise this is kind of a shot in the dark video for me just a little bit random uh this review and product was made simply because i could not find anything for this so thanks for watching and i uh, hope you guys have a good day thanks